What is going on, guys? It's Jules. And I'm gonna Saad. be looking straight forward, obviously, because I'm driving. So, um, we are going to New York, and you probably are like, why the hell are you guys going to New York right now? It's terrible timing. Well, by the time you guys see this video, hopefully the air quality is a lot better. Right now, honestly, I think it's it's been it's been getting lower. Um, last time we looked, and if you guys know what's going on in New York, it has been crazy. It literally looks orange. It's literally it looked crazy yesterday. Insane. It was about a 373 when we looked yesterday. It was um, like record breaking. And we've already had this trip like planned. And even in the last video that we talked to you guys, you guys like we told you guys we were going to New York. And you guys are like, don't go to New York, don't go to New York. Because of the hair. But it's like we already had it planned and like obviously we could cancel it. If the air was like it was yesterday still, we were gonna cancel it. But yeah. we woke up, we were gonna leave at 8 a.m. today. It's 6 p.m. to put it into perspective. But we woke up, when I woke up the air was like a 185. So I was like, okay, it got, that, like it's so bad, but it got better. Because and throughout here, the day, it's got lower sorry. and lower and lower. Because here, uh, well not here, but in Massachusetts, it was about a 157, so like we were getting it too, so it's like we were already feeling it as well, and like we just, we have so much to do in New York, and it's getting less and less and less, and we are going to be doing a lot of things, and we were like, you know what, let's just drive into New York, if we do feel unsafe, and you know, like we feel a little bit nervous or whatever, then we can always drive home, because we took the Tesla with us, uh, it was a, it would be a different case if it was like um, a flight, yeah, I don't think I would go if it was a flight, but like we have a way out regardless. We literally have the ventilation system on in here, so it's just the air in the car right now. Um, and right now, I'm pretty sure the air quality is about a 150, which is so much better than 373. Uh, you know, they hit 410 yesterday, that's insane. at the highest. That's insane. Where was that honk at? Basically, it's getting better and better, but dude, we have the worst luck. Like, stuff happens every oh, yeah. time we're supposed to go somewhere. Anytime we go somewhere, it's like, when we go to LA, it rains. LA, it doesn't rain. Or, on top of it, there's earthquakes, but earthquakes are always going to happen. But, like, I'm telling you, like, every time we go there, it's a record-breaking earthquake. Korea, we got sick. Bahamas, it rained. Mexico, it rained. It's crazy. I, I would deal with the rain. I would rather much deal with the rain, honestly, than what we're dealing with right now. I literally didn't pack for New York because I was so convinced we weren't going to go yesterday. Yeah. So I packed today and we left at like 2.30. Yeah, it's kind of foggy out here. I mean, last time I came, I came in February. So yeah. like it was already like dark, rainy, cold. Mm. But this time I was excited because I was like this time me and Sod are going together and like maybe we'll see why everyone loves New York. Probably not. I hope so. There's, I don't think sun's going to peek through at all because of all the smoke. On, um, I mean, honestly, we're here. We're going to make the most out of it and hopefully we... We get to do and see a lot of cool things. Eat. I I want to eat a lot of cool things what out I'm, here. I'm really excited for this spa. It's called World Spa, and it's in New York. And it's crazy. It has a bunch of different rooms, a mm -hmm. bunch of different pools. It has a snow room. Oops. Sorry, my foot fell off the gas. Anyway, it's this giant spa, and you just get to go in all the different rooms, use I, all the I facilities. Wanna, yeah, I'm excited about that. So we're going to go do that together. And this hotel room, it seems like it's pretty cool looking. I honestly just can't wait to eat, because every time I see, like, food places you should try, it's, I'll be like, oh my god, this looks so good. Where is it in Boston? It's in New York. There's a lot of gluten-free food There's here. a lot of gluten-free. There's a lot of cafes. Guys, comment below. I saved so many cafes to go cafe hope. I mean, hoping, not hoping. Hopping. And that's why I'm really hoping the air does get better so we can go outside I think it more. is. And it started to rain a little bit here, too. So hopefully that helps, guys. If you are a New Yorker, if you guys have been somewhere in New York that, like, you like the food or, like, was a cool place to go, guys, comment it below. Because, honestly, me, I don't really know. I don't really know where to what to do also add us on snapchat because we are going to be just like we're vlogging here we're going to be vlogging like our every single day like but live action basically on snapchat so make sure you guys follow us on snapchat as well i'm trying to i'm almost at i think 450k julia is almost at 500k i really want to get to 500k we're both we're Same. both climbing up there but um 
We're, are we officially in New York or no? Yeah, we're in New York. We're just not in the city yet. Yeah, okay. So I messed up the parking and we found a parking place and they were like, yeah, it's $110 a night to park here. And we were like, yeah, no. So we're about to park somewhere. But let me just tell you, guys, there's people out and about every like everywhere. Let me let me show you what I mean. There's so like running. people are out here running. No one cares about this people are song. out here biking. Like Everyone is out and about, so as you can see, like it doesn't look like terrible, like as bad as it was 100% yesterday outside. Um, but I'm also starting to believe you're either firmly an LA lover or a New York lover. Or a New York lover. No, I'm firmly starting to believe you're either a Boston lover or a New York lover. Okay, well, no, because not a, not as many people have been to Boston. But that it's is like, true. That is true. I know so many people that go between Boston and LA, mm -hmm. not Boston and New York. That is two of the like two cities like that. That is true. I will say there, it seems like there's a lot of hustle and bustle here, which that is that too in Boston, but on a on a smaller note, on a calmer cooler like just calmer no i really haven't been here since um when we filmed the mtv thing so like honestly i don't really know yet i have to see my own intake so far like i don't know it's just a lot of people out right now which i'm actually shocked about but you know guys it's like a pod it is like a pod like look at this what it's so weird. i mean it's it's really cool like this is like a bench and a table and I mean this is all we really need I mean what is this what's going on over here this is crazy how do you how do you get in this bathroom that's what I want to know how do you oh, this side. How do you... oh. oh. that was confusing what it is very it's long. it's really like I don't know it's it's nice I like it we gotta feel the bed have you you've been here before though yeah but the room me and Maddie had was different and it was bigger is that nice? Yeah, it's fine. Let's do it. Just, you're more critical of beds. No, I think it's nice. I think it's nice. No, I think this is. I think this is a cute room. Let me see the view. It's probably all smog right now. How do you? Well, it's just the. Back oh, it's of just. A, <laughs> it's literally just the back yeah, of a building. I didn't show you guys, but in this bag right here, I brought a couple snacks and drinks because I knew we were going to need that. So I got us a bunch of snacks, I got us waters, I got us some Sprite, I got us some Gatorades as well. So I got us pretty much sna uh, snacked, stacked with a couple things, but I am hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah, I yeah. am. I'm hungry, so we're probably going to order stuff in, in New York. It seems like there's a lot of good food here. At the hotel we're staying at, it does seem like there's a really cool restaurant, but... I don't think we should do that yet. Mm -mm. I think we should Uber like something here. There's a or bar downstairs. There's a restaurant. But I said we Uber something for now. I could use a cold Sprite though. So if we could is it? These. It's pretty cold. Oh, it is pretty cold. Yeah. I'll take it. I wish there was not You think there's an ice machine? There's it's a. It's a hotel. I feel like every hotel has a ice machine, don't you think? Do you think that? I don't know. I'm not. Fridge, I'm not like, normally an wait, ice connoisseur. Like cold. Oh wait, you gotta turn it on. Hello? Sad was like, "Is there a fridge?" I was like, "I think this is it." Down there, that little thing. It's not on though. It's not cold. I'm confused. Is it not? Feel it. I think this is the first and probably only time that me and Sad. Kentucky. Okay, besides Kentucky. Put all our stuff in one suitcase. I'm very proud of myself. Ah, the sounds of the city. <laughs> um, I know I said this, but there really is so much gluten-free food here. Like, more than I even knew. We just went on Uber Eats, and there is an entire gluten-free Italian kitchen. Like, everything is gluten-free. There's not an option for it to not be gluten-free. So, are we going to do a mukbang? Yes. Did I order way too much food and I'm not going to eat it all? Yes, I'm here. but... I can eat it. We we're going to eat it for breakfast tomorrow. We're going to What? Pasta, pizza, for bre... Mm. I don't know. Um, This room is cozy. It is cozy. This is a really cozy room and hopefully they got Netflix on here because we got to finish the ultimatum. <gasps> I forgot and I told Saad, you already know I have dibs on this side of the bed, not that side of the bed. First night in New York, we have enough to feed a, a family, but it's all gluten-free. Gluten-free mozzarella sticks. Don't remember the last time I had one of those. 
This salt ordered. I don't know what it is. It's just chicken alfredo. Vodka panini or panini. I'm probably saying it wrong. Buffalo chicken and a cauliflower crusted mozzarella pizza. We're going to see how it is. Oh, and Saad got a soup. Yeah, but look at when have you ever seen soup with like broccoli? This I've is like never supposed seen... to be chicken noodle soup without the noodle, and it's like a bunch of broccoli, like peppers. Oh, interesting. Yeah, right. All right, so we're just gonna do a little mukbang because. Oh, there's nothing there. We have so much going on. This is the vodka pasta. It is. I just have a chicken off right now. Quite literally amazing. I'm not gonna lie though. This right here. Let's eat another buffalo wing. This right here, it's gluten free too. Oh, what is that? What? We're already making a mess. Uh oh. Here, there's napkins. Um, everything here is gluten free, and like I wasn't expecting it to be so banging. To be so good. Not to say that everything gluten free is trash, but look at this chicken. But usually it is. I could marry this chicken. Sorry. <laughs> could you? Um, what do you want to do, like, tomorrow? What do you think our plan is? Wake up. Do a little shopping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I do not have good fits for this festival, let me tell you. And then... Tomorrow's literally the first day of the festival, so. Oh, yeah. Yep. yep I don't yep. know what time we're going. All I know is we're Ubering here. Yeah, we got to Uber. I don't want to drive. Uh-uh. I'm messy. I'm getting real messy right now. Who always are. I'm sad that they only gave one ranch, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I feel like you don't even need a lot of the ranch. Do you know me? We barely used it. I'm trying to savor it. So, I have just been laying down trying to plan out what we're going to do tomorrow because New York is so big. There's so much to do. I'm trying to think, like, where are we going for breakfast? What are we going to do after that? So, I'm planning out, like, get up, get ready, go out to breakfast, go shopping, do honestly whatever we want after that because I have no idea what time we're heading to the music festival. Mm -hmm. All I know so. is we have to meet somewhere at three. Okay, <clears throat> so. But besides that, that's really it. I mean, I really know. I can't believe we're here because I we're, literally. We're gonna vlog, like actually New York is just like. Today was so much like we honestly didn't know what we was going to be doing because like we were like okay like what kind of video should we film like should we vlog and tell them we're not going to New York or should we say we are because yesterday we didn't know if we were or weren't so we really didn't know if we should tell you guys like what we were doing yet because we didn't even know what we were doing no yet. we literally had absolutely <clears throat> no idea if we were even going to come here so it's just as much as a surprise to us as it may be to you. But if it makes you feel better, New York wasn't orange today. Like, you can definitely tell the air is getting better, thank God. So, my heart is to all of you getting affected by that oh, smoke yeah. right now, especially in mm -hmm. Canada. Like, hopefully these wildfires calm down and they stop. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, that is all. It is our official, I call this our official first time coming to New York together. So we'll bring you guys along. We'll keep you guys updated. And we'll have a way more entertaining video next time. Yes, way more entertaining. But for now, we love you guys. We will see, see you later, later and stay, stay A1. A1.